watching my carbs. You're gonna start a diet? No, I'm just watching my carbs. <laughs> yeah, before you inhale them. <laughs> Hey everybody! Welcome to How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris, and I'm Wesley, the carb the monster carb loon. Watch the loon. <laughs> yeah, watch those carbs. Why Don't do you eat always them. have to say something after my joke, and then it becomes your joke? Because that's the way I work. <laughs> anyway, welcome to How to Feed a Loon. We are going to be working with these carbs yes. before he eats them, and we are going to make. I'm telling you, it is the most spectacular dish appetizer yes. I think that so I've good. ever made. It's, it's so my wonderful. Favorite. It's really good. You wonder what it is? Let me tell you. It's called <laughs> Espendini alla Romana. Yes. Okay, so let's make this. You're not <laughs> going to believe it. how good it is. It's an, an Italian loaf with cheese and capers and, and this white lovely. wine sauce. It's oh, just and incredible. That one little fish that, that that's people. wonderful. Yes. So anyway, I've got a tablespoon of unsalted butter that I've got in a nice large skillet over medium high heat. There we go. And this is let's one shallot. One. Let's saute the shallot. Let's shallot. it. We shall. <laughs> Let's shall. Shall we shall. Anyway, so this doesn't take long to cook down. I've got it over, like I said, medium, hot, heat, and uh, it just talks till it starts to get thick. I that love a great. shallot. A shallot just has kind of a sweetness to it. It's wonderful. You could also use just like some finely chopped onion. But I think um, for Shallot's this particular... Oh, such, and the shallot has this really... Like, you can tell the difference when you're cooking an onion and cooking a salad. It's a little subtler flavor, I believe, it's and it's so just really good. good. All right, now let me tell you about this. Don't be, don't get run out of the room yes, whenever I tell you this, because it's really, it's delicious. This are, these are anchovies. Yes. Um, it's four fillets of anchovies that I've taken, and I've just roughly chopped them. And, I mean, if you've ever been to a really great Italian restaurant, and you've had a really well, well-made Caesar salad, there's always a little bit of anchovy in there. And it just adds a little just salt a texture. Yes. A little salt impact. And, and what I like to do is just get a fork, kind of rub it into yeah. the uh, into the shallots. So you're not like actually biting into like a, yeah. an anchovy. No, it, when you taste this, you don't go, oh my God, <laughs> it's anchovies. Well, some people might, but I don't think you will. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, this has already gone Perfectly well. Perfect. Now I've got a quarter cup of a nice Absolute dry water. white wine. <laughs> Another one of those W words. And then you always want to make sure that whenever you're cooking with wine, use a wine that you would want to drink. Yes. One, the probably the most important reason is, is because after you put that wine in the food, you can pour yourself a glass of wine and drink it. <laughs> also, you want whatever's going into your dish to be delicious. You don't want to put something that you wouldn't normally right. have. So, exactly. Anyway, so this is nice and hot. Uh, this is cooked down beautifully. Yes. You want that a wine to basically all of Just the liquid evaporate out. But and the good tastiness of the, it. The, the taste gets imparted, and we love that. Now I've got a cup of good quality chicken yes. stock. Um, Either homemade, homemade or... Homemade is always really, really good. The best. It's the best. And um, now what we're going to do, this is over a really nice hot skillet. So this is just going to come to a quick boil. And um, then we're almost finished with the sauce. So the first time we ever had this, and how I ever learned about it, um, was at one of our favorite Italian restaurants in New York City. Oh, yes. Remember? This is, yes. Yes, and I remember it being, well, what was it? Where was it? Oh, Carmine's! Carmine's! <laughs> Have you ever eaten I'm Carmine's? Like, I mean, I think everyone about? in the world, anyone who's ever visited New York City has eaten Carmine's. Carmine's. It is, it is I definitely. I think they have Carmine's in Chicago. I think Chicago's where it started. No, I, it's what we thought. But oh. I don't, anyway, it doesn't matter. Google but, um, it. Yeah, go, go, Google it. No, but it is an extremely, extremely popular um, Italian place, especially yes. the one in Times Square. Oh, it's I ridiculous. mean, every tourist in the world goes there, but for good reason, because it's just so good. But yeah. they have a version of this dish that we tried, it, and I was like, I gotta go home and remake Back in this. The day, we would order this appetizer and martinis. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was living the good life, that's for sure. So now this has come to a boil. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my fingers because, you know, we're at home. Yeah, it's um, just mud. And uh, that's right, they're clean. And then I'm gonna start adding the rest of this butter because, you know, butter just makes life better. <laughs> that should be our slogan. Butter makes life better. Anyway, <laughs> what you could do is you could put these in one at a time and swirl it and let it uh, melt in individually. And I often do that. But, you know, since we're really hungry and we want to eat this, this right is, now, this I'm going to go ahead and put this butter all in. It tastes 
the sauce tastes so good, and look at how simple it is to make it. Yeah. It really, I... Well, just wait. We haven't really gotten to the really, really exciting I, I know, but still. I know. Now, these are... Simp, a, damn, damn. It is simp. And these are what, uh, these are capers. Have you ever had capers before? They're so good. Salty berries. They, I, when I was a little kid, I thought they looked like peas, and I don't think I like them. But they're so, they're salty, and they're delicious. They're and, so good. Oh, they're so good. So I use about a quarter cup. You can use more if you like that. If you want more, um, this is some fresh basil that I've chopped. It's Love probably the about Love the six leaves that I've chopped it's, up. Basil is such a great smell. It's I a great it. herb. Um, and then I've got some fresh parsley, probably two tablespoons of fresh parsley that I Should hit. I keep this aside because we'll use it for our topping? We can. You know, uh, you know, it's always nice to have a little extra herb for garnishing. Yes. But anyway, you're going to let this go until it Color. thickens. I'm going to add a pinch of, oh my gosh, you smell that? Yes. Add a pinch of the salt, a little more. The, the capers are pretty salty, so don't go too crazy uh, with adding additional salts. So yeah. this is now thickening up really, really nicely. So now let me tell you what we are going to do with this bread. <laughs> this is when it really starts to get Can fun. I help? I know what to do. Okay, so let me tell you what I did with this bread. I got a nice loaf of bread. This is just a nice big sourdough loaf. Yeah. And um, I cut the ends off. And then I cut the sides off, and then I cut, oh, probably anywhere from like a half inch to a three-quarter inch slice of bread. And I did that, so I got six Look nice at slices. That. I turned the oven on to about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Not about. It was definitely 400 <laughs> degrees. I always say about. You know, about, about this, you know, about that. No, 400 degrees. And then I, let, I just toasted these a little bit. I flipped them. After about five minutes, they got kind of nice and yes. toasty. And then I got a, a, I got a clove of garlic. I cut that in half, and then I rubbed both sides. And you think, wow, does that really do much? It, it adds does. a nice little garlic flavor. It's not overly garlicky. It's just perfect. And you didn't even, like, heat it or anything. Well, it was already heated from being toasted. No, the garlic. I know, but this was already heated, so whenever oh, you so apply Oh, so the garlic it, was, yeah, the hot, the heat from the, the yes. yeah, We get into the physics of Sorry. things, and it gets really challenging. Yeah, I, okay, I so now I have some fresh mozzarella that I have got from a great cheese shop. Get some good mozzarella, go for quality, and I cut them into little slabs like this, little medallions. And, and now I'm gonna we're going to make the most amazing This is the most sandwich. fun part. Get your kid. Yeah, get the kids involved. Because <laughs> I if I like it, they'll like it. Because I got my kid involved. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's like Jenga. I know. I know. With cheese. Here, let's get this big fat. Yeah, use the big fatty there. Okay, now that's awesome. So now, as, as, you'll, as Wesley's already doing, we've got a skewer here, and you just very carefully, you're good, just Go down push the it middle. straight down through the middle. Yep. And that's going to secure it all in place. Now, do that. Right. Perfect. Look at that. Is and that I, not yay. the most? And just wait. Now you're going to put that onto uh, just like a baking sheet like this. It's going to go into the oven for about 15 minutes. You want to flip it about every five minutes. You know, you, you want to, I let it go, I turn it a quarter after a few minutes, mm. turn it another quarter. The mm. cheese is going to start to melt out. That's okay. You just kind of push it back in with a fork. And then when it comes back out, it's going to be perfectly toasted, perfectly melted. And, and we're going to pour this amazing sauce <laughs> over it. And, <laughs> I mean, we'll just leave the yeah. room because this will steal the show. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Be prepared, people. Oh, you <laughs> guys! I mean, this is just Look at that. mozzarella gooey, unbelievable perfection. Ooh. So, like I said, it's gonna there get, go. it's gonna be a little money. gooey, but the that's the way you all, want that's it. That's the best thing. That's the way you want it. I think it. all appetizers should be gooey. Yeah. Here, let me take that. Ooey, gooey, oh, gooey, oh, yeah, yeah, I got rid of it. Thank okay. you. Okay, so now, Yay! actually, let's just do this. Let's. Maneuver it towards the um, middle of the plate. And bit. let's um, see if you can. Here, let me do this. Yeah, do that with that. And take. try to take the skewer out. Yes. There you go. And that cheese is just going to help hold it Ooh, in place. Baby. Beautiful. Now we're going to take this <laughs> uh, incredible sauce that we made. Yay. I've heated it up it's a little bit. It's all coming together. People. It's already beautiful, but now just wait till you do this. Yes. Is that not? <laughs> that was a little. I know. That was a, a little me. like wow. Yes. <laughs> your belly just—that was your belly talking. Yes. Just and pour just, it on. Know, yeah. Let's just do this. Pour that on. Get some capers in there. Oh. Let's get excited with it. 
Yeah, I mean, this, the sauce is to be <laughs> sopped up. I mean... Y'all, this is my favorite appetizer. It's so good. <laughs> so you can... I mean, it's beautiful. Look at that. It's beautiful to serve it like that. Your guests can then just pull off pieces yes. they want. Which um, side do I want to start you on? Can, you can go ahead and tear it, you know, pull it apart for people if you like it. I totally forgot about that. I know. Where, where can this, I start? This is actually Wesley's serving. <laughs> so, all right. Go all ahead. Right, here, I'm Doesn't gonna that actually, look beautiful? I'm going to take this side. I mean, that. that is just cheesy. People, melting. I am going to be nice about this because people are watching me. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, that's a first. Look, people! <laughs> this is an appetizer. Now, you got to definitely make, you mm -hmm. get that. So you will, you Give me a little spoon so I can spoon well, some. Well, okay. Thank you. Yeah, taking extra time, but that's all right. Fo <laughs> sorry, folks. We could have just dipped, but that's okay. No, oh, look at that. Just get some on there. Oh, yes. Get some capers on there. <gasps> oh, y'all, I've got, I have to prepare it. I'm sorry, I have to prepare He's hyperventilating and I'm preparing. Nope. <laughs> yes, here we go, people. Here we go. Mmm, crunchy, delicious. And the bread and soaks up that sauce. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what, <laughs> that's what I should have done. That's what I was hoping you'd. Mmm. <laughs> It's insane. It's just, there's really nothing like it. I mean, this sauce, it's a butter, wine, caper, a little bit of anchovy. Heavenly. That was my happy dance. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen that happy dance a few it's times. I like the peppermint twist. Wow. Yeah. It's so good. It's so good. The sauce and the crunchy of the bread. A little hint of garlic there. Oh, yeah. Just a hint. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. And the mozzarella. Oh, no, everything is I so know. good, y'all. This is 100% Luna approved. Yeah. Well, that was yeah. a no-brainer. I yeah. knew that. I can't wait any longer. I just, this is, I mean, look at that cheese. And yes. That. Is it just heavenly? It is so good. Dig right in there. Make sure you do what I did. Well, fine. Mean, good. Oh, I yeah. just, I'm so excited. Great. Yeah. So you can get this recipe and many more on howtofeedaloon.com. <laughs> I always have to talk right after I take a bite. That's okay. It was so good. I'm going to So, get... folks, be sure to please go to all of our social media and like us and share and do all that. It really does help, and it makes sure you don't miss a single recipe. Mm. Oh, my gosh. This is great. You guys, this is beautiful and delicious. Mm. You need to make it. Mm -hmm. Oh, heavenly. Mm -hmm, mm. This is like, I feel like I'm in a caper movie. You know, like the capers. I don't know what I'm saying. I just need to eat. Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. And if you want more recipes like this, just click yes. right here. Subscribe click and click. Yay. We go together. Oh, have fun.